you know, I don't know what I'm doing in my intro. Do I put this hand up? Do I put that hand up? I don't know. Hey, it's Mel. I hope you're doing well. Today is going to be a quite different video. Quite words. Today I'm going to be showing you my makeup collection. Now, I'm going to say this now. I'm not one of those people that has like six huge drawers filled to the top with makeup. No. Um, my hair's just on one as normally, so let's just ignore that. I'm aware I ramble, okay? You don't need to come up in the comment section being, why do you talk so much? Oh my god. I know, okay? It's one of my flaws. Moving on. Before I show you my makeup kit, collection whatever i'm just gonna say this now i am not a makeup artist I'm, I'm okay at makeup but i'm not amazing i'm sort of in the middle you know? by the way i recently bought an entire it, it's heavy all right an entire vanity box it's this black pattern quite pretty um the reason i bought this was because i had my makeup brushes in like a container then i had my mirror on my windowsill then i had to get my makeup bag which was just not even closing because the amount of makeup I had and then on the other side of the room I had eyeshadow palettes like my stuff was just everywhere it was not organized and it was irritating me I just wanted everything to be neat and organized and in one place where I can get it easily and that's now possible with this by the way I got this off eBay it was 25 quid I'm sure you can get them on like Amazon or pretty much anywhere but this is heavy oh my god I, I need to put it down because of how the camera is positioned, I can't really show you like the entirety of my makeup box. So I'll just put a picture up here. I'm just going to show you my makeup brushes for starters. Um, yesterday, believe it or not, I cleaned them along with beauty blenders that I have. But you wouldn't know. This one looks like a flower that you can't tell because it's kind of dirty. Um, it's really soft. I use it for putting on my powder. Like the one I use is the Rimmel London. I've been using that for a couple of years. And it's just a decent quality brush. My best mate got me this and I've just been using it ever since. By the way, I clean my brushes and beauty blenders once a week. I'm very hygienic when it comes to washing your makeup brushes and washing your hands before you touch your face and all that stuff. I have four beauty blenders. You wouldn't know I cleaned them yesterday, but I did. Um, I got all of these off Shein. Anyone that's new to my channel, I have an obsession with Shein. It's an online clothes shop, sells makeup, jewellery, shoes, socks, you name it. By the way, if anyone's curious, it takes me like, I'm going to say, 40 minutes to an hour to do my makeup because I'm a perfectionist and that's just how I am. I have around three types of makeup brushes. I have these uh, black ones. These are... I think there's a fancy name for this specific brush, but I, I don't remember it. Um, This brush here I use for like shimmery eyeshadow looks when I can be bothered. But these ones, the pink ones, I've had these pink brushes for a while. They're probably the oldest. And my newer ones that I got for Christmas last year are these pink Ted Baker brushes. But they're just they're so pretty. And this is a Kabuki brush, I think. You use this for foundation. But I've got sensitive skin, so I don't use a brush to apply my foundation i use a beauty blender these next brushes are also kind of old but they're clean and they have mermaid tails on the bottom of them i thought they were really nice and I now on to lipsticks i don't know what's the matter with me because most of my lipsticks are like red purple or pink so i just like dark lip colors i feel bad because in the past people have tried to get me um nude lipsticks and have you seen my complexion? I'm a pasty white. Nude lips, not gonna work on me. The one I'm currently wearing is that Rimmel one. This is a plum colour in the shade 210. I got this a few days ago and it's really nice. I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see it. But this is what I'm wearing. Next one is from Sheen. It's this dark red one. You guys have seen me wear this in some of my videos, but it's a really beautiful colour. It's a liquid lip. I like either a liquid matte lipstick or just simple lipsticks. Now and then I wear a gloss, um, but yeah, it's obviously like very dark. <laughs> Next lipstick is this Clinique um, 05 Plushest Punch Pink Lipstick. It's like a lip crayon basically, but it's really moisturising and I don't get a lot of stuff from Clinique. And this was from my best friend. She gave it me um, and I love it. 
then we have a really dangerous dark red plum colour. This is beautiful. I think it's by Rimmel. It's a matte liquid lipstick. Very pretty. Next thing is the Rimmel London Oh My Gloss 6 hour wear. I wear this when I can't be bothered wearing like a really bright lip. When I'm just going for something a bit more natural. Next thing is this dark red number 7 lip pencil that I got from Boots. All of my makeup is pretty much from Boots. I don't really wear um lip pencils but I have really weird shaped lips. I feel like like I can apply lipstick better when I put a lip liner like outline my lips next thing is this matte liquid lip and it's by sleek makeup I really like sleek makeup but I've only recently got into sleek makeup so I'm probably gonna get more things from that brand another sleek lipstick here lip dose I got this in a Christmas gift set so I actually have no idea what shade it's in apologies Next lipstick is by The Body Shop, it's this metal chrome liquid lip, it's so pretty, I, I remember wearing this when I went to a bar with my friends, you know when life was normal and you could do what you like and Covid wasn't a thing. Next thing is powders, I go for the Rimmel powders, I've been using this specific powder for like 4 years, it's fine for me and it's in 001 transparent. When I first started using makeup, I used brands such as like The Body Shop and Natural Collection and then I went on to using Rimmel and other brands. But Natural Collection was pretty much like my starting point to makeup. Um, this is just a simple blusher. Um, I recently got this, it's new, because what I was using before this was a, a blusher set that my best mate got me and it was by The Body Shop but I ran out of it like a hit pan. Next thing is these number 7 lip glosses that my friend got me last year for Christmas. I've got four of them. I've shown you these before in my what I got for Christmas video. If you haven't seen that, I'll try and link it down below. Next thing is foundations and concealer. The concealer I've been using is in the shade 1 Lemon and this is really light for my skin and it's perfect. You guys know I, I have pasty white skin, alright? My base is basically like all natural collection. I use the Last Imperfection um, foundation in the shade One Porcelain. With years of trial and error of trying to find like a foundation that matches my pasty white ass skin, I finally have done. And it's by um, Sheen. The thing is, it takes like two weeks for your order to get delivered to your house, which sucks. But this is the long lasting breathable matte foundation by She Glam Complex Pro. Um, I got this in the shade Porcelain. Now here's the thing. The natural collection that I normally use, that looks nowhere near as light as this one. So this one matches my skin perfectly and I'm going to continue to buy it because it's amazing. Now let's go on to setting sprays and primers. Now I'm looking to try out new primers so if anyone has any advice on what primer to pick, just comment down below. I'm looking for a new primer because I love this one, it, I've never had a problem with it, it's a silicone based one, the Primed and Ready by Natural Collection and I've been using this for about a year and it's completely fine but I want to try out new things normally the setting spray that I use is this primed and ready one by natural collection it puts a little bit of a glow on your face I never had an issue with it that's the one I normally use but I've recently bought the elf makeup mist and set spray I have just used this for the first time today and so far everything seems fine um, I'll update you on my Insta if this is worth buying. Um, if you don't follow my Insta, I'll leave it down below. Now on to mascaras. So the mascara that I use on my bottom lashes is by Sheen. It's just a black mascara. I always use black mascara. The thing is, I have like tiny lashes, but my bottom lashes are like really long. I think that's just a jean thing. But I use the Sheen mascara on my bottom lashes. And, and they, I... Oops. For the top of my lashes, I go between two different mascaras. It's the Sleep Makeup Black Utopia Mascara. The thing is, this one is like really chunky. See that? Um, sometimes when I don't want to use this mascara, I'll use the Extreme Natural Collection one. I've tried so many different mascaras throughout the years, and for some reason I always keep going back to this one. Now on to brows. I'm very particular when it comes to filling in my brows. I recently bought this Rimmel London Brow Kit. It's called Brow This Way, and I got it in the medium shade. This colour right here is quite dark. You can't even see because of the ring light. I've not used this yet, I'm planning to use it tomorrow, but this colour right here, it looks exactly like my eyebrow colour, so I'm going to try this out tomorrow, I'll see if it's worth it, but it does look a little bit dark. What I use to fill in my brows is actually eyeshadow, because I have weird brows in natural lighting or when I'm outside, 
the bottoms of them look blonde but the rest of it will look like brown so that's why i use eyeshadow to fill in my brows just because it's easier and i've been doing that for years but to actually keep my brows in place i use this brow gel by the beauty crop i got this in boots but it's just this simple gel and until now i have never used an eyebrow gel now on to eyeshadow palettes, this is my exciting bit. So the first eyeshadow palette I have is this Be In Love With and it's by Revolution Beauty London. This light one here, I use this in the inner corner of my eyes. It's in the shade Adore. It's just really pretty, it's a pink based eyeshadow palette which I love. But this was like six quid in boots, I love it, it's good quality. Next palette that you guys have seen before on this channel is the She Glam eyeshadow palette. I'm trying to collect all of these off Sheen because they're actually really good quality. I think this was like what, seven quid? Um, I like this purple one in particular and you guys know I'm obsessed with this palette. I use it as much as I can when I'm putting my makeup on and you can obviously tell like I like shimmery eyeshadow looks. Next palette is by W7. It's the Romanced palette. It's beautiful. The inside of this is really dirty like I'm not gonna lie. So just a simple eyeshadow palette but again I like it. Then I have this number seven mini eyeshadow palette. This one is more neutrals and it's by Rimmel London. Um, I really like this. I think I got this for Christmas. But again, just simple, nice shimmery eyeshadows. They don't have a name. The last thing and something I forgot to show you was this lip palette. Um, this is by Urban Decay, I think. And I've shown you this before, but it has a really pretty mirror. And it has these really nice um, liquid lips. I think they're mattes, but I like this dark plum colour. And sometimes I wear the pink one. But I love this, it's really cute, and that is everything that is in my makeup vanity box. Um, this was quite different from what I usually film, and I hope that you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up, and I will see you very soon. Take care, bye.